All right, so today we're going to work on a dynamic scrolling text bar that will update with a text command. Oh my heavens. So what we want to do first, what I'm going to do is go into my scene where I'm going to want this text to scroll. True. All right, so I want this to scroll in the global interactions nested scene. So I have a nested scene called global interactions and a lot of stuff, a lot of my channel points happen on this scene. And then I nest, I put this scene on top of my other scenes. So I only need to have it in one place, right? So it makes things easier. Okay. Next, we're going to hit the plus. We're going to go to text. We're going to create a new text source. We'll call it um, uh, scroll. We're going to call it scroll bar just for the lack of a name, a good name. So we're going to call it that. All right. So what I want to do here is we're going to change the font. We're going to change it to the font that I use for basically everything. It's called Nova Square. And for text size, Uh, let's see what we put. 256. Eh, we'll do that for now. We'll put test. That's obviously really big. What I want to do is keep it so that it will be consistent. So what we want to do is do a custom extents. Uh, width is going to be 1920, so it fills the entire width of the page or of the screen. Uh, height will stick with 100, so now we can better see what size we need to change our font to. Maybe we'll do 150. We can always change this later. And because we want people to notice notice this text that we're going to have dynamically update and go across the screen. We're going to switch over to streamer bot. OK. So we're going to create a new action. This will be called scrolling text just to keep things consistent. All right, so. All right, we go to OBS, right? We're going to go to sources. This here is going to first set source visibility state. We want it to show. So we have it on our global interaction scene. And scroll bar text. We're going to make it visible. OK, next OBS sources. We want to set GDI text. All right, we might actually want to switch the uh, order of these. So we go to global interaction text and 
Ooh, we need to figure out what the I think it's the variable I think is raw input, I think. Uh per, so percent sign raw input percent sign. I think that is the variable we need. We'll find out. Okay, so we're going to switch these. We're also going to add a delay in. This delay is to give the source time to update. Before being shown. So we will do... Um... 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. We'll change the order. So that's all this command's going to do. All right, so then let's see. Scrolling text. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to rename it. Uh, let's see. This is going to be scrolling text hide. All right, so basically all we need to do, we don't need this because we're not going to be grabbing any uh, of the text for this one. So we'll go ahead and delete that sub action. And we're going to delete this delay. Or we can keep, we'll keep the delay, that's fine. We're going to change this to hide or hidden. Hit OK. All right, so now we're going to go over to commands. This will be a, I'm going to put it in mod, but it's probably just going to be a streamer command. Uh, so we want it to be, uh, we'll do moderators, <clears throat> excuse me, moderators are allowed and we'll do the command, uh, scroll. Select. Uh, there will be no cooldown. Only moderators are allowed to do... Uh, that might be bad. It's moderators for now. Don't tell caffeine. Uh, and we're going to... Do OK. We're going to do OK. We're going to add a new one. It's going to be hide scroll. Again, it'll be moderator. And it's going to be the scrolling text hide. All right, and okay. So what I wanna do is go here. I want this text to fade in and fade out when shown. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hide the text currently. All right, pretty tired. I feel you. I'm going to show it. Another thing we're going to do is that we're going to add a filter. We're going to add a scroll filter. Okay, because I want this to to scroll across the top of the screen. And there will be a horizontal speed of let's see. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to hit close. So I don't know if the variable we used is correct. So I'm going to try it. We'll see. What was the command? Uh, scroll. All right. So let's see if. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let me hide it. I also might bring it down slightly for now. All right. OK. So what it's going to do is I want to be able to use a text command to dynamically update a text box, which will scroll across the screen. So if there was something I want to bring attention to, I could do this and it would be something I don't have to go in and edit. I don't have to edit the actual source. I will just do a text command each time I want to modify it. So let's see if it works. I think I used the correct variable. If not, we can go in and fix it. So let's see. There we go. So now you can see. It now says settle down, Stan. And it works. Okay, hide scroll is the other command. Hide scroll. So we have the scroll working. And we're going to do hide scroll. And there it goes. Bam. 